Hello, it's your boy David Off. So today, Tuesday on my day off, I decided to finally watch Free Guy. I say finally, it came out like last week, but I honestly don't like missing movies on day one that I want to see because there's always a chance of spoilers, no matter how big the movie is. And unfortunately, there were some spoilers for me on Twitter. But for the most part, I was looking forward to it and I went to finally see it in the early afternoon. I vlogged, I got a hot dog, I had a good time, I shared my thoughts on the movie and then I accidentally deleted the vlog. I was meant to delete footage from a previous vlog. Instead, I deleted everything from my device. I am not a very smart person. But anyway, um, moving on to the actual movie, I'll just skip straight to review instead of the vlog because the vlog now no longer ex exists. Um, Free Guy, first of all, before I talk about the movie, there are cameos in this. Cameos from celebrities, cameos from YouTubers. No, not me, <laughs> I'm not that big. Uh, cameos from Twitch streamers as well, so content creators. And yeah, cameos from celebrities, streamers, YouTubers. This is a video game movie. Ryan Reynolds plays Guy. Guy is an NPC in a video game. Obviously in video games, you get people playing and there's NPCs. But Guy becomes self-aware. He realizes that he can be something more than an, MC, M, than an NPC. So he's basically like an AI who becomes smart enough to do things they're not programmed to do, if that makes sense. And um, the owner of the game, not the creator, keyword the owner of the game wants to shut it down and if he shuts it down because they want to make a sequel if he shuts it down all the characters including guy are gone and jodie coma plays a woman who is a real world person who plays the game obviously when you play the game you have your own character etc there's something in the game that you know what i'm not going to go too far into that because it's a spoiler but basically she's trying to stop this game from getting deleted she knows what's going to happen she's trying to stop it from being deleted and ryan reynolds guy who has just realized he's not just an npc he helps her out that's all i'm gonna say because if i say anything more then it's really just a spoiler really so uh i don't want to spoil too much of it but it stars ryan reynolds obviously jody coma taika waititi other names as well and obviously there's cameos from big names the cameos are awesome by the way there's one one particular cameo at the end like a big cameo and i was just like wow they actually did that that it was a really funny cameo if you watched it what i'm gonna say is keyword shield then you know what i'm talking about if you haven't seen it then uh i think you're gonna like that cameo well maybe not everyone but a lot of people will a lot of people will this is a movie made by Fox, who are owned by Disney, and Disney owned many things, so you will see references to other things that Disney owns. In a good way, like, the, there are some good references, and the cameos are good. But for the content of the movie, this is a good, feel-good movie. It was a fun movie, had a lot of funny moments. It really worked for me. I really enjoyed this movie, and I want to see it again. It, it was really, like, awesome, and... It didn't like leave on any like cliffhangers or anything. It had a beginning, a middle, an ending. No after credit scene. It's just in its own. It's its own story contained that works in itself as a standalone. It does not need a sequel. And I know Hollywood loves sequels and spin-offs and whatever, but I hope they leave this alone because as a standalone movie, this was awesome. It was a great concept and I felt they nailed it and pulled it off really well. And I was surprised. I was surprised because when I saw the trailer, I was looking forward to it. I thought it was a cool concept. I thought, yeah, I'll see it at cinema. Why not? But I wasn't sure if it would be that good. But the concept was good. I saw the more previews I saw recently, the more I thought this could be really good. Then I watched the movie and they smashed it. They really pulled it off. Ryan Reynolds nailed it. Jodie Comer nailed it. Um, Taka Waititi nailed it. Um, all the other actors that come with, who I can't remember the name of nailed it. It was awesome. Awesome to watch. And the cameos just made it better. Like, they had cameos from Twitch streamers and YouTubers who were also playing the game, talking about the game. It made it... It gave it a feel of real life in a way, if that makes sense. Like, it, it was a real life story in a way. Um, obviously, it wasn't. But it made it feel like it was when you were watching YouTube videos in the movie of a big YouTuber... <laughs> or a Twitch streamer. 
I just thought that was very interesting. Um, even with like the, you, you see a famous Twitch streamer with like the chat as well going. I think it was kind of cool how they filmed that and did that. So I think it was a cool addition. And uh, the celebrity cameos, there's a lot of them. There's also some voice cameos. I didn't know they were there. I didn't even notice them. Um, but after the movie, I Googled because I wanted to see, because there was a lot of cameos. I wanted to see if there's any I missed. I Googled every cameo in Free Guy. And it turns out there was a lot more than I thought because a lot of them were voice cameos that I didn't notice. And there were some big names as well. I'll give you one example. Um, Hugh Jackman. Not a big spoiler, but Hugh Jackman is a voice cameo in this. After the movie, I was just like, wait, he was in this? I don't remember this. Oh, voice cameo. Then they told me who it was. I'm just like, oh, that was Hugh Jackman? That was Hugh Jackman? Okay. 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 It, it makes sense now. It makes sense now. But yeah, that's, I'm not going to say any more cameos because then spoiler, but the voice cameos, even the voice cameos are big names, but the visual cameos too, they're mostly YouTubers and Twitch streamers, but there's one particular cameo that I already mentioned involving a shield that I really liked. My favorite cameo in the movie and my favorite part of the movie, I think for sure. And the ending was cool. The ending was cool. And uh, I really liked how they did that. In a way, it felt like a, uh, a rom-com. You're gonna you're gonna know why. <laughs> you're like you're not gonna realize that until the, until the end of the movie, but you're gonna realize in a way it was kind of a wrong com. Anyway, yeah, this is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, and see ya. And if you are still here on the personal channel, we shall continue with a bit more of a vlog. Not much more though.